in the spirit for some moments pressing into what the Lord is intending for us in these times pressing the spirit come on pressing the spirit come on executive paradise cover heart if I have pressing the spirit come on Pressing the spirit, come on. <laughs> Pressing the spirit, come on. Shabarati kabakani safahai. Brati safahan de brati kabatoai. Zekete kete ba brati safahan brati kabatoai. I want you to be sensitive. God's hand is strong upon you. Zekete ba brati safahan brati kabatoai. There is yet another layer to your existence. There is yet a journey ahead of you. There is yet a more to your more. There is yet a pouring. The Spirit can be poured upon us from all now. I want you to be intentional. I want you to be sensitive. I want you to be sensitive. I want you to be sensitive. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Have your way, 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 have your way.
want you to hold the person by your side and stretch yourself in the spirit. Come on. Pratis of a high kamahastasis of anis. Zeleti brahati fanande brati kapatoi. Shabarati kapakani of a habratis. I sense God hand upon us for uniformity. When God intends to raise an army, He comes with an encounter. He grants them access to experiences and then unifies them. Zeleti brahati of a habratis. Shabarati kapakani of a habratis. kapuna. A credit party, she's a fanny's. A sharp papa, papa, ratty, get it, get it. A red toy, kappa, masters. A red pretties of her brandies. Sing the ticket of brandies of her. A sharp rata, papa, get it, get it. A pet boy, kappa, best. A pet boy, kappa, boss, a pet boy. A pet papa, boss, a pet boy. Sing the tip of brandies of her. A red toy, a sharp papa, ratty, kappa, candies of fanny's. Stretch yourself, come on. 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 You are praying in the spirit. You are praying in the spirit. You are praying in the spirit. We are building up our most holy faith. We are building up our most holy faith. We are building up our most holy faith. Sing it, tip up, rata tapa, rati kata kapa kata. Esha pa 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 pa, rati kapa kanis. Retoi kapu paste si sofana. Embrace kapa rati. Retoi kapu paste, kapu paste si sofana bredis. Esha ke ke pa 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 pa, rata tapa rata. Esha pa pa kapu na. Embe pasto me ma pai. Embe pasto me ma pa di sofana. Rete embe pasto ki pa tuai. Sing it, sing it, tip up, rati kapa kanis. Come on, stretch yourself. Come on, stretch yourself. Come on, stretch yourself. Come on, stretch yourself. Sing it, tip up, rati kapa kani so far. Esha pa 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 pa, rata kapa rati. Embe pa pa rata pa rati isa pa hane. Embe boy kapu me pa di so far this. Embe esha pa rati. Rete be pas kapa pa ro kapa tuai. Esha pa pa rati kapa pa. Shake away that weariness, come on. Shake away the lack of conformity. Shake away the lack of consistency. Come on now, come on now. Come on now, the unity is your assignment. Shake it with the difference. Shake it with the difference. Shake it with the difference. And let them get the cup of candy so far. And press some of the days. And then boy, a couple of us, this is a fun. And then do I come on this. in the spirit. Crack it open. They want dimensions of the spirit. Let us tread the paths that no lion has walked through before. The Bible says the realms of no lion. No track record of paths. Let us walk deeper levels in the spirit. Let us open virgin dimensions of the spirit. Let God trust us with newer layers of existence. Let us come into the power of the ages to come. Come on, be sensitive. He <laughs> Yesua, <laughs> He said you want to be. 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 He said you want to be.
There is a rising, yes, there is a lifting, there is a big there is an army, there is a vision, there is an appointed time, there is a time of war, and there are men of war. What you are doing around the world, don't do it without us, don't do it without us, don't do it without us, don't do it without us. 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 We are available. We have been as usable. Lord, don't do this without us. Don't do it 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 without without us. Don't do it 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 without us. We are praying in uniformity. Don't do it without us. The weakest is becoming the strongest. The strongest is becoming stronger. The strongest is becoming stronger. The weakest is becoming the strongest. The strongest is becoming stronger. Our weak men are becoming strongest. You wouldn't do this one without us. You wouldn't do this one without us. You wouldn't do this one without us. Not without us. Not without us. Not without us. Not without us. You won't do it without us. You won't do it without us. This is the place, the threshing floor. We call this place the place of the grind and stone. This is El the gates of heaven. The gates of heaven. Come as a rewau, Baba. Come as a rewau, Baba. Bonisua. Boni come as a rewau, Baba. Till your hand is torn upon us, there is a spirit in man. Though I pray, not yet I pray. There is a spirit in my hand. Though we know not what to pray for, the spirit help in our infirmities. The spirit help in our infirmities. The spirit help in our infirmities. Someone is helping your infirmity. The Holy Ghost with your infirmity. Spirit, pray through us. Spirit, pray through me. Spirit, pray through me. Spirit, pray through me. Spirit, pray through me. Hallelujah. God sent his face upon us corporately. Are you following me at all? A point will come where you will perceive his hands as touching the diversity of operations. Are you seeing me as a dancing hand of God? Then we'll split open into a personal path. Are you following me at all? But I want us to be sensitive. Say amen, everybody. Amen. Joel chapter 2. You can, please, this is the best posture. Just, just stay standing. It won't last forever. Amen. Joel chapter 2. Yes, when it's time properly for the word, we'll switch over. Joel chapter 2. Lord, you will help us this night. 
in the name of Jesus. Joel chapter 2. We just keep going, but I hope we we'll stop at verse 12. Verse 1, everybody, let's read together. The Bible says, Blow you the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. He says, For the day of the Lord cometh. He says, For it is nigh at hand. A day of darkness and gloominess. A day of clouds and of thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong. They have not been ever the like. Neither shall be any more after it, even unto the years of many generations. Someone say amen. amen. This scripture opens us to a possibility. Let's take the C part again one more time. He says, uh-huh. There had not been ever the like, like this people. He says, neither shall be any more after it. He says, even to the years of many generations. That means a generation will rise. That we collapse all the potential generations as one. He says, looking from antiquity, there's none like this class of people. Now, God says it would not be balanced if we do not actually touch the dimensions that extend into God and man's possibility, which is past, present, and future. So he says, going into the future, it says, collapsing all this generation, there will never be any like them, so there will not be a need for that generation. That means a people will come and they will prosecute into what the scripture called the power of the ages to come. A people will come and go to use what belongs to ages that they should not live in. And this is the price they will pay for God to actually validate that generation. There is never like them. It's not because they are special than who is coming. They will culminate and be a continuation of everything that had been. But the difference is this. They won't just operate in the now. They will capture what God called ages. Listen to my teaching. I can't remember. I've told you what ages mean. Hallelujah. What we call good morning on earth is what you call age in heaven. In heaven, there are no days, literally. Are you still with me at all now? On that basis, God says the reason that causes for the deployment of men on earth will actually become invalidated and then validated in the life of a people. If this is true, then that means no invention is our problem. The problem is that we don't have the capacity that makes for the facilitation of the intentions of the ages to come. It doesn't matter what artificial intelligence is about to be done. Uh, you see, we are done. Whatever they put in brains now on petri dishes and all of that, it will not first matter if there is a people that have the power of the ages to come. Not the power of old. It will make us recycle the system again. The power that has not been used. Are you see with me at all? What no man can explain. Only God will understand the interaction of this ability and then that class of people. I have said it over and over that God does not have power. God owns it. It is men that have power and we have power than ourselves. But God is showing, are you see with me at all now? Just to take you through a rundown. The Bible says that he sent them out two by two. And he gave them power over unclean spirits. Are you, that is a dimension of power. The Bible says, starry in Jerusalem till the Holy Ghost. Are you see, and power be endued. That power is not power to cast out devils. I name it the power to become. That day, the Holy Ghost sat on all of them in the upper room. And the real person that they were emerged. That was the day that Peter was petted. And the apostles. There are dimensions of this power, but there's an exclusive that is called the power of the age. So that means their depth of power has not been used before. If I tell you that I can explain the power, I'll be a liar. Because only God will be merciful to me myself. What we can call the power is power of the ages too. And let's keep it there. Let God do what only he can do. And let's become the proof that he did something. There is no description for this power. Is that how you will know that these men have this power is that there is a quality in this being that can't be contrasted with anyone coming. And there will not be a need. If you see this man, if God does not have a need. I, I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. So, such an ability. I believe with all of my heart that one of the things that Satan does to generations is that he frustrates them in the advancement of this power of the ages to come. So they collapse back. So they don't look substandard. At least let's attain the powers that our fathers worked in. 
no insult for the fathers. So after everything is said and done, we now say, mm, let's, let's even touch the things that people like Archbishop Idaos are touched. And people like Adam, you understand that kind of stuff now? So that it won't be said that we came and then we were less. And then we say clap for them. There will be a need again for another generation. Are we ready for business this, this night? I, I have told you the truth. I, I, I can't explain the power. But I really think power is not always explained. Yes, no, you manifest power. You don't explain power. Uh, hallelujah. It's called the power of the days that have not been ordained. You don't understand problems that have not been created. I'm not covering my mouth. So China is in trouble. I'm prophesying. China is in trouble because a people is rising. And his star is dropping from the head to the... Uh, come on. Listen, in the name of Jesus, may you understand by understanding. Yeah. Is, is somebody listening to me at all now? That an acknowledgement of somebody hoping to wield the world power will be decentralized. Because there is a spread upon the people. You can't kill me. We are multiplied. Yes, Killing me is already a waste of time. If you arrest me, you cause more trouble. Because people will learn more superior ways to execute the power. And excuse that level of limitation. Let us cry for the power of the H to come. If this one does not come upon us, I think we waited in vain. I, I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say now. Are you following me at all? I, I, and especially for the people outside, please, I beg of you, ensure that you are participating. Amen. Let God's hand sit upon you strongly. The power. We are, it's not one person. We are crying. You know, there's a difference when we cry and when we are, are you see with me at all? The, when you are asking it, is to receive. When we are crying, it's because it's a demand. If we are not trying to first receive, it must elope us. It must be the prevalence. It's not like I want to have the power. It has to be in a day that even if I'm reckless, I'm still captured. Is it simple to understand? Even if I choose never to lend the laws that keep it, I'm still implicated. I will become inferior in that day if the power that ordains for the ages to come is not captured in my life. I sat down and the Lord told me and said, listen, all this your... Uh, what is it called? Somebody did bisexual. Oh, this is the reaction of the world. The challenge is that where are these people inventing this calamity from? I said this sometimes, and I do, I'm not, you know, I, I, there's, I, of course, you should trust me already. I don't try to drain in any, any, whatever to myself. I didn't understand what I was saying, but I said what I said. 2019, I told you a vision I saw. And I saw a Chinese group of people in a laboratory inventing something. I may have listened to that message. You know, people said nobody saw COVID, but there's no point proving anything. We are too young to start proving anything now. We still have long days to prove what is there. Uh -huh. And I said it slightly like I'm saying something about China now. 2023 is a revelation. You watch what will happen. It will shock you. And that was the same way. Now, the challenge is not who is inventing. Okay, so that you can understand the balance. I have separated innovation from invention. Every time a man invents without innovation, he creates what God does not need. And whatever God does not need is what is against God. Do you understand what I'm trying to say now? Are you following me carefully at all? How do people come about the advancement of technology in time? It is that they become co-creators with God. That means they look into what God has done and then look into what creation represents and bring out of that abundance for advancement of his economy on earth. Is somebody with me at all? I've said it publicly. Technological gadgets are not the proof of technological advancements. It is as man in proof on his living that gadgets are produced to sustain that level of living. There will never have been a need for an Android phone if we did not advance to that level. It's not Android phone that made us become advanced. You might catch up late. You might be coming later, but humanity is advancing. So by default, Satan knows a place where he arrests a generation. is the place of invention. Creating for them tools that is not needed by their God. Giving you weapons that will not construe into advancement of what you represent. Now, the challenge is not who is sitting down somewhere. And opening his heart like Lucifer will exalt myself to become the star that sits upon the crown. Are you see me at all now? And with the passion of flame, red. I will, now, these things are not important. What is important is the people that will live in that day. The Bible says the gloominess will be high. So that means it's a blessing to live in this generation. In a generation where people are exalting themselves in technological perspective, there will be 
be something to respond to them. If we respond with the powers of Elijah's day, even Elisha asks for double. Don't let's be, don't let's be too naive. Elijah that just took the baton in some days said, I need to think about Elijah's day to now. How many do you think we need? It is why he gave us all of the Holy Ghost once and for all. Of course, Elijah's spirit is one of, a, of many portions of the Holy Ghost. Old Testament people walk in fractions of the spirit, not all of it. Now, the Bible says with the Holy Ghost in us, he's still seeking not one person. That means if only myself knows this, and this is what is destroying our generation, and I stay somewhere and I pray, Lord, the power of the age come. God says, if only me appear, we are still not ready. This is why you will always be misunderstood for every time you step into the past of the ages to come. People look at you and say, what is wrong with him? What is he saying? What the man is saying is not wrong, really. It's just because he cannot bring the day alone. What brings the day is all of us. It's a day upon us, not a day upon me. Is somebody listening to me at all? So there are some of us that are head of uh, people. So it looks stupid what you are doing. Oh, I want to say, what is he always teaching? This guy is somehow. And then, and then literally, in your heart, you know, I, I, the only thing I, I like when he prophesies. But are you seeing that now? So because that economy of prophecy can relate with the now civilization. And then the gap can only be preached by a people that rises with the power of the age to come. Let's cry for power. Now, this power is not power to heal the lame alone. Are you seeing with me at all? It's not, are you following me? You know literally now that when people have spinal issues, there are machines that can get them walk back. With the way we are going, there has been this communication and can you give a good clap to the people that are our watchmen team? You know, the people that pray. Is that, is that what you will do? Hallelujah. I, of course, you know, they do daily reports. And I saw in the daily report a prophecy. And I smiled. The release of the healing anointing. This word has been jumping over churches since year 2000. I, I used to me at all. And it's, it's always said consistently. You know what it means. Every time God speaks, how to know it has happened is not that people start only healing crusade. Are you still with me at all? Let me let you know how you know that something came from God. God will build a system around it for multiplicity. What did I say? That means I have not really received if I do it once. And there's no system created independent of me that can keep doing it. Satan understands this technology. So when he notices that things are about to be released on people, how he corrupts the stuff is that he creates a pseudo reality that attempts what God intends by multiplicity. So that means now there are machines that can fix what the healing anointing should be fixing. We won't stop because of those machines. We will do what machines cannot do. If you have an accident now, are you still me at all? There are at least 90% of chances that you can walk back without any prayers. It will just cost you real money. I mean machines will teach you how to walk and, and straighten your spine with days. I, I, people will not need to come to church anymore if you are not careful. They will, they will not even believe you just very soon. And you know, devil know, when devil wants to corrupt a move, should I tell what he does? He manipulates intention. So sometimes when you see multiplicity, it does not mean advancement too. It can mean corruption many times. So devil in his attempt to break down the walls, we just keep releasing batches of intentions. And on that basis, you will watch machines. I, 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 I said the prophecy sometimes, I, I can't remember the teaching I was teaching. I was teaching about 21st century something. That should be 2020. And I talked about robots replacing people. Someone looked at me and said, are you really a pastor, a scientist? Now, it didn't take two weeks. An airport in Nigeria brought a robot and sacked 1,200 staff. You don't understand what I'm saying? You know, nobody used to see this stuff. They just say, hey, it happened. <laughs> you know that kind of stuff. Now, listen. That is not the problem. The real problem is this. That those inventions will never stop. What did I say? It will walk through everything before our face. The challenge is, do we really have the power that cannot see now and see tomorrow? And even when Satan is inventing, what is inventing is outdated. Uh, uh, do you understand what I'm trying to say? They just did it, and they thought it would shock us like it does, and we didn't even need it. So why are these guys doing this thing so late? Is somebody still with me at all now? You know now, there, there are devices in the market you're trying to buy. And the power will sit upon us so strong. 
that will have to be forced to participate in production because we are the one that can produce what is actually relative by time. We have been used to consumption, especially in Africa, Christianity is what is on ground. I've told you, this is what church is used to do. If, if they invent anything, they say it's a sin, it's a mark of the CCCs. Don't join them. After three months, the church will start using it. Say, God is there. God has moved there. Now, it's a proof that something is wrong about our ideology. Those guys will not stop. As, as we are sit seated, all of you, I hope you know there are conventions holding also for forecast into next year's. I only hope you are aware. You know, they are watching you do your church program, they are smiling. May we not produce clouds that we use to actually captivate us again. Pray and raise incense, and then we'll become slaves again. Let's cry for the power of the hate to come. It's a corporate demand, and this thing must sit upon us. I believe with all of my heart that if all the numbers of people here walk in the reality of tomorrow, the devil is in trouble. All God needs to do is just disperse us. What did I say? Just send somebody to Ontario, send somebody to Bauchi, send somebody to Are you see with me at all? That's all. Just displace people. And now, by the time you see the same thing in 400 people, then you will know. Gamaliel said, That is how some people rose. Rose never to be seen anymore. Said, If it was God that brought these ones up, that is the proof. Powers of the, that means the apostle walked in what is not the reality of that day. He confused them. Say, Of what power and of what name? Now, these guys did all this stuff then. In, it is not what we are praying to enter into. God says the reality is that the people will capture all generations into one. There will not be a need anymore to have another generation because the challenge is as regards power with man, the curriculum was exhausted by a generation that came to Tiag. Say amen. amen. Let us cry for power, power of the hate to come. Lord, honor your word upon our life. The Bible says there is a generation that will arise and will seek you in the order of take up. What I'm teaching you, men have practiced. David went into the future and said, my Lord said to my Lord, when the Lord had not showed up, all through the Old Testament, who was there was Christ the pre-incarnate. Jesus never came bodily. David said, my Lord said to my Lord, the Bible says Moses saw the invincible one. Jesus came and said, no man had ever seen God. That means Moses saw a Jesus that had not been better. Power of the age to come. Please be apostolic in nature. Please be apostolic in nature. Please be apostolic in nature. This is an apostolic meeting this evening. Eretoi and the Sabarate Kapakanis. Sabarate Kapakanis. Kapakatai. Eretoi and the Master Sisafana. Power of the age to come. Sekete Barata Tabalatas. Sabarate Kaponan. If someone is beside you and they are weak and not praying, tap them. Hold your hands. Touch them up. Fire them up. Power of the age to come. A generation that there will be never any like. God went to the future and said you cannot actually capture a future anymore. Man is the future of God. Let the future of God in this place be perfected. Let the hands for perfection sit upon us. Sabbatai Capona, and 
WhatsApp by. If you're following online, please be connected to us. The power of the H to call. Hallelujah. We will pray. What did I say? I did my research correctly because of the fact that the Lord granted me access to the educational sphere. And then, you know, of course, he granted me access to a robust teaching ministry. And I've always said this with every iota of humility, that anyone that listens to me is wired for the future. What did I say? God told me and said to me and said, because you'll be saying things that will seem like he's standing alone, don't be scared. What I'm saying is what will happen. A day will come the people will run back to need it. Listen, I know what it means to carry this power, and I know the effect. See, every innovation that happened, happened after there was a release of this power in a generation. Talk about anything from the telephone to the internet, anything whatsoever. It was after there was a sweep, are you see with me at all, that these innovations broke open. Nothing has been innovated without the sweep of God before. Listen, the effect of this is that a man we produce, I think game is around. You know, I, I remember during those times, during those times, 2019, she came to me and said, you know, I can't remember what she said, I, but she, she said something just about thermometers. Are you see with me at all? I'm just trying to draw. And she said something like, something is asking me to just buy plenty of thermometers, you know, that kind of stuff. And go ahead. But I felt she was feeling like I don't have enough or something. You understand that kind of stuff. And she told me how much this Thermometer placed on the armpit, you know that one now? Huh? Shot up from just some few, 500 to 1,000 to 15,000 era plus. What I'm drawing from there is this, that God will look at you like this now. When this power becomes surplus, and begin to tell you to do what seems unconventional. Because very soon, something will soon break open that is what you created, is what is needed. We are in trouble, we are just copying ourselves. You do, I will do. There is a law in the school of in the business world that says that after six months, your structure becomes a prototype. That means somebody will copy what you started. It's because there's no power of the age to come. Imagine all of us here are selling bread. Who, who will buy from who? No, imagine for two minutes, everybody is selling bread here. Yeah. I'll leave my bread and buy your bread. And that's the way we go to. So we don't really have anything to offer. We just keep recycling what is not consistent anymore. And there is a people that is faced with the reality that is advancing so fast. So when they look at you, they do not believe that you actually represent God. Because if it is the true God, the true God should not be caught unawares by the days he created. The Bible says, and he created days that man can give expression to them. Let's cry for genuine power as touching the ages to come. Only if you want... Genuine power of the age to come. Genuine power of the ages to come. Let your hand be strong upon us, Lord. On behalf of a generation. We are standing in this place and we are representing the mosaic. We are standing representing our kinds. Oh my God. How God raises men is by tribes. God used tribal system in the spirit. I am certain all the 12 tribes are connected in this service tonight. We have been too late. We appear too late. Our innovations are always too late. By the time we show up, we come too behind. Do something to a generation. Do something to a generation. Update our curriculum. Update our curriculum. Oh, spirit of truth. Oh, guidance of the angelic. Update our curriculum. Let your hands sit upon us. Shift us into the past of the days to come. Stretch us into what you call tomorrow. Bet your future as a man in the generation. Bet your future as a man in this place. Bet your future as a man in this place. Bet your future as a man in this place. Bet 
Bet your future as man in this place. Bet your future as man in this place. Bet your future as man in this place. Bet your future as a people. Oh, God raises a people. Let your hand come upon us. Raise amongst us mighty men. Raise amongst us powerful men. Men accorded with the future in their hearts. The Bible says it set eternity in our heart. 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 Activate eternity in our inside. Separate Kabakanis of a high. A Sabarate, a Twai Kabona, a Redi Stafana, a Sabati Kabatoa, a Pesabana, a Dati Kabarate Kabakata, a Sabapa. Hallelujah. I hope you know Christian used to get there late. Am I saying what is correct? You don't have to hate me. Your future is my priority. Forex. Christians got there late. We will shout where transfer in church, but we will get there late. We enter when they are clearing the market, so we count too many losses. You are with me at all now. The digital age is no more a prophecy. Are you see with me at all? They don't have a choice. All the laws, both internationally and domestically, will favor us. Say Amen. amen. Poverty has been a weapon for so long in Africa. In our own generation, it will become non-instrumental. We, we, we build such, such a capacity that is proactive and forensic in nature. Lesser jet understandings. Are you see with me at all? You know why we get there late? Because we are operating on the hold. Are you see with me at all now? We, we, we are so on the ground. It's until information drop on the ground. You know, in following wise men in finances, one beautiful man, and I'm, I avoid mentioning names because, you know, some of these guys are not professing Christians. Hallelujah. And so, you know, like I always say, my job is to listen and then do the inversion for you. You know, the man said something beautiful, that every time information comes to ground level is to make you more on the ground. Every time information, are you see with me at all? Right, if you are down and information meets you there, is to keep you there. So if the government come and say agriculture will boom next year, is to make you poor. Let God tell you what will boom. The agriculture will boom and our president did not build a farm. And show you I'm exporting and he told you to do it. Who tells you to do what he will not do? If I know where money is, I will first go there, pick it. Before I not tell you ah, there's money there. Oh, you're wondering, say I'm a pastor. <sighs> is somebody with me at all? If you don't understand what I'm saying, I challenge you, go download my financial teaching series so that tomorrow morning, as we begin to talk about this, you will catch up. Make sense. I, I beg you in Jesus' name. I'm tired of getting there too late. What did I say? Uh, you see, and it's not with all the speed telling you we are late. You don't understand what I'm saying. You know, the Bible says the sons of this world, Jesus looked in his day and said, go and learn something from sinners. Before Jesus will recommend you to a sinner, you know, you know he must have pained him. Say so there's something you people don't know. There is something you refuse. The sinners, eh, they are lawless. On that basis, they can apply anything to themselves. And the God of this world is so wise in satisfying the conditions that keep them lawless. He's called the lawless one. And so, they don't even need to first seek for information. Are you see with me at all? It is, it is given on a platter of gold to keep them bound in captivity. Make some sense. But now you will call yourself a Christian. The Bible says, and the spirit of truth shall guide you into all. But the church fights all truth. They only choose spiritual truth. They fight financial truth and say, everybody teaching finance is a devil. Somebody told me and said, God will punish me. And I smiled. <laughs> That's where we are. That guy is in, is in a generation that God has forgotten. That's, he's still spending paper. He thinks he understands what he's doing. Are you see with me at all? Now, there are many of us, our challenge is simple. Is that in following the cloud, we are so behind. And yet the cloud itself is behind, behind. So how we get there is always too late. By the time you will get there, you know, imagine going to market when they have closed. Have you been there? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, you won't get it. Wait. Imagine getting to market when they are closing. The implication is you have to buy things expensive. How many of you can bear me witness? The person will act like he's doing you a favor. I'm closing, no? 
500 or something, 5K, are you buying or not? That's what we pay with our Christianity because we lack the power of the ages to come. Let's cry out. Take away this lateness. Shoot us into the future. Shoot us into the future. Let your hands be mighty upon us. Shoot us into the future. There is a people tired in this place. Ministries, be tired, please. Men of God, be tired. How will you do ministry for a people that are ahead of you? That's why they hate our sermons. We think we are ancient by being outdated. Ancient is now. Now, faith. Ancient is now. Lord, shoot us into the future. Or put our curriculum, come on. Walk through the face of our generation. Do something to our instructors. Shift us as a people. Help us follow the cloud. Help us follow the fire. Help us follow the cloud. Help us follow the fire. Let your heart be strong upon us as a people. The power of the hedge to come. The power of the hedge to come. The power of the H to come. The power of the H to come. Shake it about the Kabakani Safai. Don't be tired, come on. Stretch yourself into realities. Don't be caught on our ways. Don't be left alone. Don't be left behind. God is on our side. Everything is on our side. Let's take the side of God. Let's transit into tomorrow. Let's be worthy of tomorrow's war. Let's be worthy of tomorrow's war. Let the people arise with capacity. Capacity on their inside. So strange and strong. So powerful and different. Come on now. Stretch yourself, stretch yourself, stretch yourself. God is watching you. God is watching your level of interest. God is left watching your level of communication. God is watching your desperation. Let the people cry through you. Let the people cry through you. Let the people cry through you. Let your kind cry through you. Let God see a people through you. Let God see a people through you. Let God see a people through you. We are tired of getting there late. We are tired of hearing these things late. Hallelujah. Look at this. I have respect for education, not necessarily schooling. Only if that schooling affords you proper education. I hope you mark my words so well. I've never been impressed by schooling structures before. I've only been impressed by the level of education of the minds of men. Now listen to this. Why we are seeing all this stuff? I'm sorry my examples. I hope I'm not offending anyone. I hope you know the government of this dear country is only angry at digital realities because it's hard for them to get taxes. And bank charges. But very soon, one day, accountants will soon start taking tax computations. How? Christians will not do anything now. They will still be typing and munching peach tree and be carrying big files everywhere. And then the people is creating the strategies. Are you see with me at all? The first set of people that will be needed, it will be people that are not believers because the people are walking behind the scene day and night creating structures. They will get the first one million. By the time you go and do a four-year course, two-year masters, there are now too many people. The value is broken down. It's not 100K. They will not start paying you 100K. That's when it's done with the certificate. And yet the first one didn't have a certificate. He only had an innovative capacity we can't sit down and be eating and be growing in time and we can't see what God is seeing you don't understand what I'm trying to say it's a proof the Bible says according to the power that work it all you can ask or think so that means the power can be inverted the Bible says according to the power you can ask or think the power acts make you ask what you ask and make you think on these things it's by the power that is
is on your inside that you are thinking the thoughts you think. And there are people here still thinking about food, thinking about woman, thinking about car, house, and can't think into a future. And you think something is not wrong. Come on. One day in church, it will shock you that scriptures will soon open up and we'll be studying digital realities from Bible because it's there. The Bible says all these things are captured. Christians will get there too late. Are you seeing with me at all? The, the sons of darkness will have created too many causes. They will have infiltrated our sons and daughters in church. They will have learned the wrong things. When you are talking in church, they are not looking at you. What is pastor saying? Because pastor could not get there before they got there. Where is the God that says, if you walk in the valley of the shadow of the death, you will fear no evil because my love and my soul shall comfort you. He says, I will lead you on the path that you should go. This future is God's future. Why are we acting like we don't know God? The power of the H to come. I'm tired. I check my notes. I say, what will I teach next year? What, what will I teach again? I've not taught. There is yet more. There is an advancement in time. There is yet more. There is an agenda in time. There is yet more. There is a pseudo reality. There is yet more. There is what eyes have not seen. There is yet more. There is what eyes have not heard. There is yet more. Things that men have no hand to. There are too many teachings locked up in reality. Break it up. Break it up. Break it up. Break it up. Let God hear the voice of a generation. 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 Break it open. Don't be tired, come on. You came to prepare for tomorrow's war. Don't be tired, come on. It will last forever. Don't be tired, come on. You came to prepare for tomorrow's war. Don't be tired, come on. You will not rise if I do not rise. I will not rise if you do not rise. Help me rise and I can help you rise. God raises men by tribe structures. Let God's hand sit upon the formation of a generation. God raises men by tribe structures. Let God sit upon us as a tribe. Let us form a mosaic that even faith prophets cannot break into. Let us form a mosaic that Balaam cannot cause. Let us form a mosaic that no enchantments can work against us. Let us form a mosaic that no invention can plague us. Let us form a mosaic. Separate capacanis of a high. Esapa parate capacanis. Empresso hai capopes. Empesha papa parate. Cry your way through. Cry your way through. Cry your way to come on. Shabarate Kabakani of a hostess. A pressure baba barada da balade. A pepper boss, a pepper papa. A shepherd papa pepper. A pepper boss, a pepper papa. A petroab. A pepper boss, a pepper bob. A pepper boy. A pepper pepper. A pepper pepper. A pepper pepper. A pepper pocket party. A pepper pocket party. A pepper parade. A pepper boss, a pepper. Be tired of this old fashion. Pray a new and level out of your existence. Pray a new and level out of your existence.
the scripture says creation waited for the manifestation there are two dimensions of creation God class of creation and there is also man class of creation Satan cannot create only Satan cannot create if you leave man to himself man will create God knows that I can create a message. He says this message of the kingdom, how we captured and captivated me in reality for persistence, is that he brought a curriculum to actually guide and govern. Listen to me carefully. Every time we refuse to come into proper order, creation we keep waiting. And, and there is a way the Lord taught me about this story. He said, do you know why the dog barks and pursue you? Because he's not living off your life. The dog looks at you and you are seeing the reason why the dog is still living the, the lower level of life. It will bite you. That's his contribution to order you to participate. There are, I, you see, I hope you believe what I'm saying. There are men that will enter into compounds where there are dogs and the dogs will not do anything. I, I've been there before. You know, you don't know. You just go there and they came out. Now you say, the Lord is my shepherd. God says, just, just keep moving. Of course, we respect where you move. But the dog will sniff you and say, there's something different about this one. Listen, the power of the age is to come. If we don't undo this power, we don't have anything to offer creation. Creation is older than man. Man himself too was created. Creation had watched every version of power undo by, are you see with me at all now? They saw the latter version or the former version. They are open for the latter version. You will show up and you are bringing yesterday version. Instantly everything should fight you. I've seen this one before. Why are you boring me? Lord, in the name of Jesus, the Bible says something very powerful. And this is how, and this is what will culminate the, the era of sons. 2019, I taught on the series of the revival and something. I can't remember the teaching. I taught about the moves of, of God in Nigeria and all of that. And I told you what God told me and why there's no title behind my name. God says, if you use title, the day I called you for you, that title will make you invalidated. Because the day we come, men will not need title anymore. Men will be known by what they can manifest. The Lord told me that day is called the day of the sons. On that basis, that's the day I'm waiting on. What did I say? I have not started ministry yet. We are preparing. Let me build as many as I can. So that there will be a sending capacity strong enough. Are you listening to me? At all? There will be such a displacement. And the power we operate with is called the power of the ages to come. Because if what we are revealing is what has been seen by creation, creation will still fight us. If you start ministry today and do what has been done, you will be poor. Try it and, and, and say that I'm correct. Everything will remind people of what had been before. When you preach, they will remember a man, not you. Say, he's, he's preaching like that man. Huh? Let me show a seat to that man. Everything is wired to fight you when you're out of date. Lord, we have come to the mountain of transfiguration. We have come to the mountain of the weakness, Elijah and Moses. Do something to us and the generation. Let the new version evolve. Let the new version evolve. Oh, come on. Let the new version evolve. Let there be genuine transfiguration. Take us to the place where you took that tree. Take us to the place of love, faith, and hope. Take us to the place of love, faith, and hope. Take us to the place where you make men. Take us to the place where you make men. Say, let the brother Bakatai, a Shabaran the Predicamanoi, take us to that place, the Mount Transfiguration, where we behold your glory, where we are changed from glory to glory, as like an open mirror we are seen, beholding, becoming versions that we do not first understand, but we trust your hand upon us. That even as you take us from a level, even to another, we can trust the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Becoming what had not been before. Becoming what had not been seen before. Papa, 
When we don't know the way of the wind, how will we manifest? How will we happen? When we don't know the way and the power that's walking us, 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 and the power that's walking us. And the power that's walking us, and the power that's walking you, and the power that's walking you, eh? and the power that's walking you, and the power that's walking you, and the power that's walking you, eh? and the power that's walking you, eh? power that's walking us. Let your be a couple of it. A pep of pep of this. A pep of part. A pep of the tete. A pep of pep of a capuna. A pep of stos sobala. A pep of 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 pep let you wake up what a bad let pep 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 to what a tempus and the power that walk in you eh and the power that walk in you swallow your pride swallow your pride swallow your pride there is a power power of the ages to come he can walk in you eh and the power that walks in you and the power that walks in you eh power that walks in you and the power that walks in you and the power that walks in you the power that walks in you eh and the power that walks in you Let a new version come out. If you leave me this way, God, I'm in trouble. What will I actually be called in the days to come? A preacher of just a Bible? No. May I carry God. May my witnesses be effected in this place. May I transfigure. This one is beyond transformation. Prayer still changes men. No. And while he yet prayed, the fashion of his countenance was changed. And while he yet prayed, the fashion of his countenance was changed. Swallow your pride, swallow your pride, swallow your pride, don't you know, in his hands are the keys to eternal life, don't you know, only in his hands, so he said to you, I will give to you the keys. I will give to you the keys. The keys of the next world. The Bible says the worlds were framed by the word of God. That means there is still another world after this world. We will come and go and the word of God again will fabricate our doors. Don't you know that in his hands are the keys. 
listen in your hands are the doors in his hands are the keys you are the one in time you are the one on earth According to the part that walks in you, according to the part that walks in you, according to the part that walks in you, in your hands are the doors. In your hands are the, in your hands are the doors. 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 In your hands are the doors, I will give to you the keys. Because in your hands are the doors, I will give to you the keys. Because in your hands are the doors, I will give to you the keys. Because in your hands are the doors, I will give to you the keys. I collect keys. He went beneath the head, and Jesus collected the keys. Iku oro reda, isa oku amara reda. Iku oro reda, iku oro reda, iku oro reda. In your hands are the door. My God is calling you. God is summoning us. God is summoning us. God is summoning us. God is calling the generation. God is calling the people, He's calling the territory, He's calling us, He's calling you, He's calling me, He's calling us, God is calling us, divinity is calling, eternity is calling, the realms of God is calling us, He's calling us, oh eternity, oh divinity, the realms of the immortality, immutable councils, the courts of God, immutable councils, the courts of God, in your hands are the, in your hands are the doors, in your hands are the, in your hands are the doors, in your hands are the, in your hands are the doors, in your hands are the, in your hands are the doors. In your hands are hard, in your hands are hard, the doors. In your hands are hard, in your hands are hard, the doors. Hold on, Lord. You go on, Lord. As you go on, Lord. Lord, you are Time is clicking. Time is going. You are not growing younger. Every birthday is closer to the grave. Ah! Another bad day, step closer. May you live, may you live. In your hands are the doors. Do you have the keys? According to the path that walks in you, do you have the keys? In your hands are the doors. 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 I will give to you the keys. I'll give to you the keys. I'll give to you the keys. I'll give to you the keys. Will you receive keys? Will you receive keys? Will you receive keys? Sayere ha boy peolorure. Will you receive keys? God is distributing strategies, is distributing capacities. Will you receive keys? Will you receive keys? Will you receive, will you receive keys? Will you receive keys? Will you receive, will receive keys? Will you receive keys? Will you receive, receive keys? Receive keys. 
receive, receive keys. Receive keys. Receive keys. Listen to me. As I keep ministering, I keep seeing Dr. Miles Moore in my face. I don't know why. But there's something I know for sure. That man rose. You know the man is long gone. I had the vision. I would not listen to people until God caused our, our paths to cross. And don't let me bore you with my story. But what I'm trying to say is, I, 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 my challenge was that even after years of departure, what he said still looked like we have not entered into the next. Let's thank God for what Moses is no. But may Joshua arise. Because if all we still know is what Moses is no, Pharaoh will actually keep transiting as a dynasty. We will soon be behind reality. Are you following me at all now? And when we receive what people have done in time, it is a proof that is not consistent with God's nature that what had been is still literally what we are actually living off. The reality of our days gets deeper and darker by the day. God actually lets this thing be documented to open us into the next phase. You should listen to enter, not listen to be shut out. The veil has been torn. In two minutes, everything that I have listened, that is potential, or let's every potential capacity, break them open by prayers. Do you understand what I'm saying now? There are things you have listened to. It was not to listen that was it. It was to imbibe the realm and then step a step further. That was the intention. How many of you have, have found out that actually when you listen to messages to pray, if those people, uh, well, don't let me generalize, but you know if you listen to my teaching, it will continue in your dream. Have you been there before? All right. So that means it's not really the words I'm saying. It's the realm. So the intention is that you can be in that realm to enter into what even myself do not know. Ah, uh, you did not come. You did not come to church. If what you listen to, only if you're a man of God, beautiful, or you're, whatever, and you're writing, transcribing, what for what, it's beautiful stuff. The intention is that you can break open. The work is to tear the veil, to enter the continuation. Not to keep you out there.